Hi, I'm Carrie Paget, and I'm a Law of Attraction focused prosperity coach. Today, I want to share with you how to achieve your goals and dreams, but I want to show you how to do it in an easy, more manageable way. Because what happens is almost everybody wants to have, you know, enjoy a 10 out of 10 level of success in all areas of life. So relationships with loved ones and significant others, their finances they want a 10 out of 10, their health and fitness, their job success, and their personal development. So all of those areas, almost everybody can say that they would want a 10 out of 10 in all of those areas of life. But what happens is, we are doing very little to move the needle to improve in all of those areas of life every day. So I've developed an easy attainable system to help you achieve your goals and dreams and want to share that with you. So first off, what you'll want to do is get really clear on what you do want. So it might take a little bit of journaling. So what you would want to do is take out a blank sheet of paper or if you like typing, open up a new Google Doc and you're just going to free write what you want your life to look like. And it can be as big or as small as you want. For me, when I first started on this work, I had to kind of start small because I wasn't able to think that big yet. So it really just depends on where you're at but take a minute and just identify where you want to be in your relationships, um, whether it be with your significant other or your loved ones. Just get clear on what you want that to look like. If it's a 10 out of 10, what does that look like? If your fitness and health are 10 out of 10, what does that look like? If your finances are a 10 out of 10, what does that look like? If your personal and professional development are a 10 out of 10, what does that look like? And finally, if you are feeling like a 10 out of 10 in your business, what does that look like? So again, take five to 10 minutes and just kind of get clear on how you would, what all of those areas would look like. And then what we're gonna do is you're going to head on over to the link in my bio and claim your daily habit tracker. And we are going to break down those goals and make them into easy, manageable um, items you can do on a daily basis to help move the needle on what you want your goals to look like. So just for an example, I'm gonna talk about mine. So I'm working on launching my boot camp. So that's my business goal. In order to do that, I've set aside pretty easy, manageable amount of time, at least 30 minutes, five times a week in order to hit that goal. Then I have also to support that goal, at least two video posts um, a week. So I need to do that every single week in order to hit my business goal. Now with my finances, what I do is I log in and I spend at least five minutes managing my finances Monday through Friday. So during this time I do budgeting. I know budgeting is an evil word to a lot of people, but Think about budgeting, like how are you going to get rich if you don't know how to manage money? I know some people do and you know, they strike it rich because they are super talented artists or you know, maybe they win the lottery or whatever. But if you want to grow your wealth, you're going to have to learn how to manage money as painful as that may sound. So just block out five minutes, just five minutes, five times a week to to help you start building wealth. It's that simple and it's, you know, at first it might not feel like it's even worth it or gonna change anything, but I promise you it will make a huge impact on your finances over time. So spend that five minutes. Uh, during this time I pay any bills. I do set up automatic payments 
but uh, I track my finances, so I track any income that I'm getting. I also, if I have to respond to somebody about a loan I'm working on for an investment property, I'll work on it during this time. And again, when I first started off on these things, it wasn't, I didn't necessarily have investment properties or all of these different um, things I'm mentioning. But since I have been working on these areas, it's grown and it's, you know, prospered and it has taken time. But it's been easy because it's just five minutes, five times a week. I know you have that amount of time to make sure you're wealthy and not struggling in your finances. Um, and then let's see, and then workout. I work out 30 minutes, five times a week, plus I track my my uh, food intake. And this is just to make sure I'm feeling healthy, not overindulging. And with this tracking, it's super simple. It's a minimal amount of time I'm spending, but I really haven't ever felt better about and more confident about my body since I've done these things and committed. Now, these habits might not necessarily resonate with you. Find something that resonates with you. And also that's an easy, manageable amount of time. I can't stress that enough because if two hours, three hours out of your day to go to the gym doesn't fit into your schedule, you're not going to continue to do it. You're just not. So it's, you know, it's physically impossible. You don't want to run yourself into the ground trying to do something that's supposed to build you up. It just doesn't even make sense. So moving down the list to the other areas of your life, um, let's see, I also do daily affirmations. So daily affirmations help support all of my areas of goals and the six areas that I mentioned. The one book a month I read, I listen to for at least 30 minutes while I'm walking my dogs, plus when I'm working out. So I do get that time in to listen to a book that's motivating and that's pretty topical for whatever I have going on. So it is a nonfiction book or podcast in an area of life I'm actively wanting to improve. And you'll get so much inspiration just by listening to this book. And one tip that I got in Audible, at least, you can listen to the book a little bit faster. So I usually like one and a half times, but it also depends on the content and the reading pace of the pers the narrator. So um, use your own discretion on that, but that is a pro tip that I've picked up through um, an agent I know, a real estate agent I know. And then I always work on forgive and tap. So you, if you watched my video on the two part manifestation formula, the two parts are elevated emotion, which will come from your heart and coherent mind. So to have both of those pieces, we need to give attention to both of those areas. So a coherent mind will come from your emotional freedom technique tapping and elevated emotion will come from that forgiveness work. So those are two things you can do. And again, that one is just going to help support what um, what you're doing in all areas. So, um, and then we have meditate. I love meditating every morning. You can start super small with just five or 10 minutes at a time that works for you. I like to do it when I wake up in the morning and um, like to make sure that I'm comfortable. Don't wanna, you know, you don't wanna commit to meditating for 20 minutes right out of the gate, sitting in a position you're not feeling very comfortable in, maybe you're a little bit cold. So make it easy. I always say make it easy because otherwise you're not gonna wanna do it. Find a comfortable way to meditate and fit it into your schedule on a regular basis. And then the end goal for your meditation is that coherent mind and also to help you tune into something really powerful, which is your intuition. Your intuition is something that we're all gifted with, but very few people are taught to follow. Your intuition will lead you to exponential results beyond anything you could ever do with hard work. So some people might say, I don't have time to meditate, but you don't have time 
not to meditate. So put it in your schedule. And then uh, what I do for my uh, time with my loved one is I make sure Derek and I, my husband and I have a weekly date night to make sure we have that quality time to maintain our relationship. So many people go through, you know, long-term relationships and they don't make that time on a weekly basis to really nurture, nurture their relationship. So of course, after years and years of not nurturing the relationship, the relationship breaks down. You're not gonna survive uh, marriage on the love you had on your wedding day. And I know we all logically know that right out of the gates, but you're also not gonna survive it by saying, I love you here and there. Taking that quality time is really important. Um, so whoever you want to nurture your relationships, whether it be friends, family members, um, your significant other, make sure you make that time at least once a week. Put it on your habit tracker. And um, another one I have that I like to track is my water intake. So having at least two of these a day, ideally it would be three, though I got to tell you, I don't. I don't feel like I could drink that much water unless I absolutely chugged it every day. So anyways, those are my tips for how to incrementally and easily make progress on your goals and dreams. So just to recap, you're going to start off by writing what you want your, look, your life to look like. If you had a 10 out of 10 in your finances, your personal relationships, your business, your personal growth, and your finances, and what's my last one? Oh, your health. So if you were a 10 out of 10 on those six areas, what does that look like? So that's the first step. The second step, head on over, link in my bio, and click that link, go to the habit tracker, and you're gonna get a habit tracker, just like I showed you, and a step-by-step -step guide so you can create your own habit tracker. Make sure when you're doing this, you make it easy because you if it's not easy, you're not gonna do it. So set up a time that you're gonna fill out your habit tracker every day. I do mine when I sit down up to my work desk for the day before, and then I also, plan everything in a specific order or as much as I can. So the meditation, the working out, the um, eating breakfast, the affirmations, I'm doing all of those things at the same time every day because then I don't even have to think about it. It's automatic and it gets done. So I look forward to helping you more. I am looking at hosting some live workshops. So if you have any interest in that, DM me and I will need your email address to send you updates on those as they come available. So looking forward to connecting with you. Again, I'm Carrie Paget. I'm a law of attraction focused prosperity coach and I use that to help you build the life of your dreams with ease. Who wants to do who wants to work really hard not me so i want to show you how to work smart and use the law of attraction to work on your behalf talk to you soon